Um, one thing that I would like to do though is in the modulation is is draw your attention to a pretty cool modulation source. Last week we talked about the six um, LFOs as well as the um, all of the envelopes. If you go into the mod matrix at the top and we press complex modulator, the complex modulator has two curves that are freely um, drawable, designable. You can s set how many steps and then draw a cool curve. It's curve A. Let's create another one. Curve B. If we go to complex, that's our um, our co uh, complex curve A, and then you can blend between A and B. All right, which is awesome. You can also warp them, so change the, the pulse width kind of thing, and change the speed. And now this is oh, you can add entropy. I mean, if you want. It's gnarly. It's su such a great modulator. Um, and so what I'm thinking now is that like a, quite a complex source like this could be interesting as a source to change that wavetable position as well. Okay. So let's go back to the modulation matrix. We'll choose complex. Just down. Did I miss it? There it is. Destination is now going to be fitted good budget. Uh, K K one fitted budget budget. I missed it. Where is it? K one. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's play this. So no, there's no modulation on that yet. That's going at 14 seconds. I mean. That's just me changing the, the, the base of the sequence, right? So you've got these notes going. No filtering at all yet. Add a little bit of filter modulation. Bit of resonance. So if I want to see this knob here that I'm changing the amount, that's not super performative. So what I might do is set that at zero and I'm going to add a control to it. So that control is going to be my XY pad. Remember the XY pad from last week? So I'm going to say XY X, its control amount is going to change. So at the moment with the amount at zero, nothing's happening from the complex modulator. But if I go over to perform at the top, there's my XY pad. I want the polarity to be unipolar because it's just a, uh, um, a we want it from zero to 100%. So X is unipolar, let's put Y is unipolar as well. So now, now I'm adding that complex modulator into the mix, right? Let's turn off the other one, the sequencer parameter. So we can just hear this. So it's just K2. Now that's my complex modulator adding. Right. Whoops, sorry. Let's add that. So that control amount, I just did that quite quickly, but that control amount um, uh, allows you to use some kind of controller to modulate how much of a modulation source is, is affecting something else. In this case, I would use the XY pad, but it could be an external CC. 
from your uh, from your door. Could be the mod wheel on your um, on your keyboard, or it could be one of these. Four, oh, ha! Huh. <laughs> could be one of these C CV slots. The reason why that's playing is because it's it's feeling my my hand touching the the start um, input. Um, <laughs> um, so you've got CCs on the back, so you can use a CC from the, um, sorry, CV, um, control voltage from the modular or something to, to control it, which is wild. All right, um, so I've spent most of the time talking about kernel, but I do want to get to the other, other um, modes. I probably won't get to the resonator mode, um, but I might do a separate video for that. So let's just briefly look at the, the granular mode. Um, I quite like that one, so I'm going to save it, and this will teach you how to save things without wrecking all of the <laughs> things that are in there. So um, you've got this save button over here. I'm going to press save. It shows you a blank screen. Very, very important. You need to choose a blank slot first. Weird thing about the, the UI in this, but if you don't choose a slot, it will get confused and then you might accidentally save over something else. Don't save over my catches. Um, so use the big knob, go down. I believe it's past 200 where it starts getting. So these are all my, oh no, this is BT. These are all my ones. And so I think, well, there we go, 258. So I'm gonna call that BC class, BC last, why not? Um, and then I'm going to put it in my bank. Ben Carey, save. Okay, so I've just saved that patch, which is awesome. 